Hi guys, George from Cypress Insight and today we're at Brodara. Look at that beautiful sea. Lovely and wavy today. Great fun to jump in the sea today. The Bark One would like us to walk around and look around the rising sun. We're going to have a look around that in a minute. And then we're going to walk further up. We were at the end of October and it's a glorious day. Oh, it looks like it's shut for the season. Well, it's a big place, isn't it? Well, there you are, guys. There's a stage anyway. We might be putting some new lights up next season. I wonder if we can get a peep inside. Or has it got tinted glass? Got tinted glass, there's a big bar. Wow. Oh, well, there you are. Shut for the season. All right, let's go down and walk on, shall we? There it is. Oh, it was established in 1979. Well, I suppose a few places have started to shut down now for the season. So, there's quite a lot of places going to stay over up to the middle of November. So maybe we're going to have a late season. And don't forget there's a few hotels that open all year round especially the ones we've looked at with those beautiful indoor swimming pools and spas so here we are the golden star hotel it's got balconies facing sort of the sea sees that way we're going to go round the side up see the pool and then walk round reception area right. let's walk up here Oh, there's reception that way and there's a beautiful pool area it's got lovely gardens as well look lovely little pool and it goes along narrows down squiggles around you can see all sorts of different features like a fountain look at those lovely plants all the way round to this end where the kids pool is there's the sea i'll show you in a minute oh there's showers there what have they got there then oh football that's good there's the sea here yeah, you see in between these two hotels yeah not far is it? Right. Oh, it's a kids area as well. So we've got our football pitch, the kids area. And uh, I'll go through reception I think. Let's see what's going on. So there you are guys, you can enjoy the uh, sunshine, it's uh, even out of season or end of season and of course it's cool enough in the evenings to go out strolling or visiting places, so around reception 
a small reception area but very nice nevertheless yeah. and we've got conveniently located comfortable chairs there we are and you can share books right so let's walk down back to the main road and there's a convenient supermarket just outside pick up a few essentials One. and this is Socos Brotheras Hotel next door looks a little bit more modern now I think we've got to go through reception and then to the back to see what's going on in the swimming pool area I think they did some refurbishment on this hotel a few years ago I was driving past to see a few skips outside right oh look at these conveniently located comfortable chairs Nice piece of artwork, isn't it? Right. Okay, let's carry on through reception. There's a bar over there, and the restaurant's just beyond the bar. Look at these massive umbrellas. Oh, right, so the bar comes out to the outside as well. So you can have your drink in reception or out here in the sunshine. I'll sh show you the restaurant. We have a little peek. There it is. Very nice. And it looks like they've got the buffet going for lunch. Right, here we are. Lovely chairs outside, relax. So there's the pool. There we are. Very nice. Fountains are working. Nice to see. Beautifully clean. Oh, they've got those beds with pergolas on top. The kids' pool is just beyond there, and there's a stage as well, so they must have a few shows going on. Looks like the verandas have been updated to the glass, which looks really nice. Oh, yeah, very comfortable, clean hotel, I would say. There you are. Oh, look, they do. Uh, all you can eat lunchtime buffet at 12 euros not bad you're feeling really hungry you just grab one of those couldn't you oh some more artwork out here look Right, I'm back on the main road going up to where all the shops and restaurants are and, uh, and we're going to visit Oscars the restaurant see what's going on there see if it's still open
so while we're walking up here guys and you haven't done so yet why not hit the subscribe button and then treat yourself to a cup of tea and a hobnob how about that of course it's very quiet it's lunch time most people at their hotel enjoying the sunshine right do we know where it is left or right right we'll go right towards McDonald's and apparently it's just up there I think You can have a pint of dark fruit strong bowl for three euros in there. That's good value for money, isn't it? That's the greenery pub. And that should be open all year round if you're coming off season. Same with Handsome and Gretel's ice cream parlour for the kids. That'd be open all year round. If you're, if you're coming this time of the year or off season. Oh, here we are. It's across the road. Oscar restaurant. Looks nice. I'll cross the road in a minute. Oh, so it's right at the end, opposite McDonald's. Oh, let's go and have a look what it's got to offer. Oh, got to risk my life and limb. Right, what have we got? I'll have mine well done, please. That's, uh, what is that? Prawn cocktail, garlic bread and a nice steak. 16 euros or you can have starters again and a bit of chicken there's 14 euros or you can have fish platter oh i see that's for two people like a, a giant fish a bit of salmon a giant uh, prawn let's try out some onion rings and that's 32.90 oh that's calamari not onion rings so it's all to do with fish oh and you get a uh, some salad on the side as well okay looks good a lovely looking restaurant isn't it look I like the homemade moussaka here is 11.95 and their pastas are the same sort of price so there you are that's Oscars for you great ah there's a roof garden as well at the top just spotted that that's handy when it's really hot sit up there can't you all right let's walk back down towards the sea see what else there is around Oh, as we're going down that road, we might as well go and have a walk down the boat pier, guys, where you can pick up trips. And the trips go down to Famagusta and then turn around and go up to Capo Greco and the caves and the Love Bridge 
and it's only 10 euros for adults and five for children so it's a really good day out really for the money 10 euros I think it's about what two hour trip something like that maybe two and a half hours oh, let's cross the road there's waves cocktail bar very reasonable cocktails there if you want to sit and sip cocktails all night I do food as well oh that's good right so we'll walk back down shall we towards the boat pier we can have a look at that gorgeous sea right guys on the way to the pier and it's going to get a little bit windy so sorry about the noise and a bit later on we're going to meet Wayne and family lovely people of viewers and we're going to have dinner together so looking forward to meeting them oh that sea looks inviting what's this going past with all the noise going on oh it's part of the hotel just over there Mandili Hotel back down the Rising Sun pub it's a big pub isn't it ideal location now if you want to sit on one of these verandas sipping your beer all night watching the world go by oh there's some signs and the rising star this way right we're going down here have a look at the rising star these gardens and they're lovely that's the Yanni Marie Hotel head offices ah I see so they've got the head office there and then one of the hotels behind them I just think Oh, I've never been down this pathway it's jolly pretty oh, around the back here and the pier is just over there somewhere ah this is the rising star Okay. Right, the Bark One, the Rising Star. We did go to the Rising Sun. Anyway, doesn't matter. We've been to both now. Rising Star. Lovely pool. So on top of the pool, the red thing. Let's have a look. Oh, I think it's a waterfall. Looks like a volleyball, but it's not like it's a waterfall for the kids and it's got a cannon. It's not working at the moment. It's good, isn't it? What's that over there then? Oh, kids club, gym and massage centre. That's over there, a gym and massage centre. Oh look, the uh, restaurant's facing the sea. 
that's nice go towards the sea in the restaurant oh look an outdoor bar oh it's a little gem isn't it oh there you are what a lovely place there we are oh it's a big restaurant isn't it facing the sea what a lovely location beautiful breeze and then we've got a grass area leading down to the beach fantastic quiet location oh wow how do we get down to the beach oh it's our famous coastal path there we are and the weather's cooling down now guys so we'll be able to get back onto our path soon and carry on past Capo Greco and beyond Oof. that looks like they've watered the grass oops there we are oh there we are there's the uh, boat trips for uh, you can book your boat trips from here you see you can choose any one you want yeah as I said 10 euros for adults children's five or if you want to do the dolphin one there we are it's got glass bottom that's 15 and 7 very reasonable there's the boat here So the boats might be out on the trip or they could be moored out somewhere else because it's quite rough I'm not sure Oh look at this This looks exciting Let's have a look at the people enjoying the surf Look at that Fantastical That looks like a lot of fun guys Whoosh Kids are loving it Right let's go to the end of the pier Oh we're splashing up definitely not a day to go out on our little dinghy sailing look out for the videos where we went out towards Brodara and then back to Aya Triada I think we spotted a, a boat that was abandoning ship we nearly sunk but we uh, just about got away with it and got back in safe and well There's someone fishing I'm not sure if he's going to catch anything in this surf so, look, oh beautifully clear sea look at that go round there's the rising star hotel see in a quite a quiet location I love this sea Right guys, it's nearly time to meet Wayne and his family Looking forward to that And a fantastic meal 
at the Pig and Whistle at Caparis. Tonight we're with some friends from England and they've been coming here for 30 years, haven't you guys? We have, yeah. So we, I'm not very good with names, so introduce yourselves. I'm Wayne. It's Wayne. I'm Lee. And that's the son, Lee. <laughs> yeah, that's my okay. son. Okay. And this is your son also, isn't that's it? That's my baby. Yeah, I'm the baby. That's Adam. I'm Adam. So baby. this guy's a baby. He's yep. baby. With yeah. a beard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a baby with a beard. And this is the lovely wife? Jackie. Jackie. Yeah. Okay. And we've got the crew here, of course. And we've come to the Pig and Whistle, haven't we? Yeah. And we've been treated to a lovely meal. And what are you going to choose? I'm going to choose whatever the wife chooses. Oh, I because, see. Because she's like that. Because she chooses well. Yeah, she oh, does she? Well. I think we're going to go for the steak right. and ale pie. Steak and ale pie, Probably right. British you know. meal. And yourself? Probably the spare ribs. Spare ribs for the baby, <laughs> oh, and the older chappy. Possible chicken wings. Chicken Possible wings. chicken wings. Possibly and chicken yourself? Fish and chips. Fish and chips. And I'm going to have the cheeseburger, guys. So the cheeseburger is 11 euros. And yourself? How much is ours, Jack? I think mine's about nine. About nine euros. euros. So not too bad the prices. No, Are they? Yeah. Okay, so we'll order up and we'll see what it's like, shall we? Sounds good, sounds good. It looks like, looks like our food's turning up. So I've got, got chicken burger and the lights, are, that's a big chicken burger, isn't it? Have you got a piece of uh, chicken? Fish. Fish, why is it shaped like a... A, a fish. No, <laughs> it's shaped as a chicken leg. <laughs> so you've got chicken leg fish fish yeah. and we've got our spare ribs and chicken wings. Chicken wings. He don't need a lot. He doesn't need a lot. No. He puts us all to shame. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's steak and ale pie and you've got the same we've haven't got you? got the same George. Yeah. Where's the chips? No chips. No, I've, had enough, I've had enough chips George. Oh okay <laughs> fair enough. You can't chips. You can't beat the famous Cypriot potato though, can you? No. Yeah, all no. good chips. All made, aren't they? Yeah, definitely. We got to. <laughs> so what did you think about the meal, guys? It was great. It was quite nice, wasn't it? It was okay. It was, it was okay. okay. It was okay. It was okay. Uh, not over fantastic, but nice. Yeah. Yeah. Really nice. Well, your your chips was really nice. My fish was amazing. Oh, there you go. So the ribs. should try the ribs. So about eight out of ten. Yes. We yeah. give it eight out of ten. That was marvelous. And you're going back on Sunday, aren't you guys? We are, yeah. 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 Back to Liverpool. Yeah. <laughs> and you're all subscribers, aren't you? Yeah. We are. Right. We are okay. So don't forget. Keep a look out for more video. Great walk around Pataras, guys. And good to see Wayne's family. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if there's somewhere you'd like me to go, put it in the comments below.